Now you know I'm going to have to go out there. Right, so here we are then at Calato Reservoir. Now the water tower is over that way somewhere, I believe. And I think the last time I was here was, goodness me, I think it was all iced up here. Now then, here we go, doing a bit precarious out onto the the pontoon, I think these things are called, aren't they? All the birds are scarpered. There we go, look. So there's a few people here today, so not too bad. To be expected, really. So we're going to go for a walk all the way around the reservoir and then we'll head over to the water tower. Yes, excellent. Good choice of decision, I Good choice of decision, yes. There we go. Kind of thing Bro would say. Oh my goodness me, this is wobbly, man. Oh, right, I'm getting off this. <gasps> right, folks, quick change of plan. I'm going to walk to the water tower first and then walk around the reservoir because there's a couple waddling around in front of me there, so uh, they would take ages and no doubt annoy me. It's been a bit of a uh, an annoying person-free day today so far, apart from that one incident, but other than that, it's been most enjoyable, even if I am all by myself today. Folks, well, I appear to be somewhat disorientated again. I'm sure the water tower was in this area, but I really don't know what's going on. Maybe I've misread things, which is a strong possibility. Um, we'll go up here a little bit and see where we are. I'm not in the reservoir anymore. I've come out, and I think I'm now in the back off. Found some sort of survivalist refuge. That's a cool structure, man. Look at that. It's really well made. Good. Right, I'm inside this uh, this little refuge. Excellent. Don't know who stays here or what it's here for, but nice little find. It's obviously had the roof with uh, moss on it and all sorts of stuff here. It's actually quite uh, sheltered here, very nice indeed. Get a little uh, little mattress and a wee sleeping bag down here, it'll be fine. Be portable TV, it'll be all right. Right folks, I've had to alter my plans again um, and head back, because I'm sure the water tower <laughs> is that way. We will get there eventually, people. Um, so I'm having to come back this way and Kind of going through the woods. There's a wee path just there. The reservoir's just over there, so I know where I'm going. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what's this? A random blue pipe in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Okay. Walking fast, walking fast, walking very fast. 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 Walking fast. I've come across this on a bridge. All right, it's just on a really reedy and boggy part of the walk. Oh, look. Right, onward, lady folks. We're still lost. An old riverbed here. Now, oh, what's this out here? Crack your knackered, folks. Goodness. Oh, hang on. Oh, there it is. Multi trepidatione. There it is. Found it. Yes, indeed. We've come across it. It's actually not as tall as what I remember it. As I said, it's been a while since. I've been here, so a bit of a struggle to find that actually, crikey. Anyway, there it is. Excellent. Check out the view. Look at that. Lovely. Actually, is that Kinperny Hill? I can see away in the middle of the picture now. Look, I think it might be. 
Крики. Right, well, here it is. Massive concrete structure. Quite spooky, really. We have all the usual risks, Scottish water. Very impressive indeed. That seems very similar to the one at Menzies Hill or Mingus Hill. Um, that was built. Oh, I can't remember what. Remember, I did the video of the one away up on the hill there, but this one is a little bit lower, and I think it obviously serves the, the sort of like the downfield, Clateau, um, Ardler area as well. So I'm not sure how much it holds. I didn't really research it, folks, because I didn't think I was going to come here very, really. but uh, still a very impressive structure right here in the middle of nowhere. I love stuff like this, you know. You come across it and there's nobody here and it's just awesome. Love it. There's a better view on this side. So as I was saying, it's uh, similar in design to the one at Mingus Hill. And this one obviously serves the Ardler and the, uh, the Dryborough area. Yeah, love it. Obviously, people have managed to get in there. Not sure how, but well done to you guys. I think some sort of sign of entry here by the looks of things. Barbed wire. It's locked. Fungi. Now, something just caught my eye in the middle of the woods. We have an old engine. How on earth did I get here? Weird. Right in the middle of nowhere. It's just this engine. Well, there it is behind me. I found it at a tower. Unfortunately, no way to get in. Well, I maybe could have if I'd really, really tried and had some uh, equipment. Could have got in there, but not really supposed to go in these places. There we go. Not sure. But I think it is still used. Now I also saw something, something else weird over here. Oh, well, looks like I just got out in time. There's uh, somebody coming. I'm not really sure what these strange uh, rectangle shaped blocks are for. They're all in straight lines. Yeah, it's probably got something to do with the water tower, I would imagine. But uh, let's see how many there are of them. Well, there's about 37 left standing and then a few other sort of ones that have been knocked over or just like this falling over sort of thing. So I really do not know what they are for. Anyway, there we go more strange things in the woods. <laughs> 